Welcome. This short video is designed to demonstrate how Quality Essential Suite can help your organization create certificates of analysis and certificates of conformance any way you want. Many industries are required by their customers to supply quality documentation like certificates of analysis or conformance. These industries are in areas like chemicals, coatings, oil and gas equipment, food products, metals, and life sciences. There are several key challenges in providing these documents to your customers. Most importantly, customers often require different content or different layouts for the same content. We also have to be able to easily access reprints and have easy to manage archives. Let's take a look at an example. Our manufacturer, Acme Chemical, has a product, AB Plastic Flake, that three of their customers purchase. When running the product in production, Acme is very careful to make sure that the intrinsic viscosity, moisture level, melt point, and yellowness are all met during the production run. Customer A is interested in having this information in their certificate of analysis, but they also want to see what the tolerance range or specifications are. Customer B only wants to see the intrinsic viscosity and the melt point information, but they'd also like to see the min and max values collected over the full production run. Customer C simply wants the moisture level and the yellowness level reported. Quality Essential Suite can help Acme achieve all of these results with three simple steps. First, we create a COA template that identifies the test data that should be shown on the certificate. Next, we select or modify an existing COA report layout so that it looks exactly the way the customer wants. Finally, we use the COA report entry form to locate the relevant lot and item data and then generate the report. To create COA templates, we use the COA template add edit form that is found in the master data tab in Quality Essential Suite. We begin by identifying the item number we wish to create this COA template for. You'll notice for our AB Plastic Flake, we currently have four templates that have already been created. If I select the template that's labeled for customer A, we will also see in the lower left that customer A has been assigned to this template. If I want to create a new template for customer C, I'm going to create a customer name for the template. Then I'm going to add that template to our list of existing templates. When I click on that added template, my inspection test form in the center of the panel will be refreshed. And from that list, I can select exactly the test that customer C wishes to have reported. Those would be the test for yellow that's found here at the bottom and the test for moisture. Then I can switch to the customers tab and actually assign customer C to this template. Anytime I want to build a certificate of analysis for customer C for AB Plastic Flake that simply reports for yellowness and moisture, I will use this template. In our next step, we have to select the appropriate COA report or modify an existing report and give it a new name so that it can be used specifically for the customer. When we're considering what COA report layout to use, we should consider two factors. First, will the report cover results from single or multiple lots? Second, will the report be required to show distinct test values for each of the lots or calculated values such as averages? Quality Essential Suite is a quality management software solution that ships with its own report writer. In the Add Edit Report Storage form, we are able to create new versions of existing reports. For instance, one for customer C, identify the sequence order that we should see them on our drop-down list, and then match the report to a base report type that we will use for modification purposes. Customer C simply wants us to print averages, so we'll select the print average form. When we open the report designer, we will have the opportunity to modify the report specifically for customer C. When the report designer opens, it will look familiar to many of you who have used tools such as Crystal Reporting or SQL Reporting Services. Labels such as the title certificate of analysis can be easily changed. Data can be added or removed from the header or the body of the report. And we can include graphics and other information that would be part of a standard document for our business. The Report Designer tool will allow us to create and add an unlimited number of new reports to the Quality Essential Suite library. Once we have saved them, they will be available for any of the users who are logged into the appropriate screens. Let's take a look at a certificate 
that has been modified for Acme Chemical. To do that, we would go to our Reports tab and open up the COA report form. In the COA report form, one of the first tabs is the grid of all of the existing COAs that have been created or finalized, which means they've been assigned a certificate number. Let's take a look at certificate number two. When I click on the PDF, what I will see is the saved PDF of that certificate, which means I can easily access it for reprints or for other archiving purposes. We've had the graphic logo for Acme Chemical added, as well as the address and other boilerplate. In the body of the report, we can see that this particular customer has simply been looking for averages of the production data that was collected. In the COA edit print form is where we begin the process of creating new certificates of analysis. We start by clicking on the COA define tab and then selecting new COA. We're going to build these examples using our AB plastic flake item. We'll select a customer and then we'll select a template. For the purposes of our example, I'm just going to use template one. In this particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to look at report choices for reporting on just the information for a single lot. I'm going to select the lot DD885 and add it to my data, and then search my database using the Recreate COA Data button for all of the test results related to this template and this lot. When I move to the header information form, I will have the opportunity to select a layout to print from the drop-down. This is a list of all of the certificate of analysis related modified reports that can be used in order to meet the customer's requirements. A report that is frequently modified is the default version of the C of A report. When I select the preview button, we'll have the opportunity to see what this report looks like before it's been modified. In this version of the report, you will see there are no graphics, no boilerplate, and no special formatting done on the data at all. In the left-hand column, we will see a list of the actual results received when different tests were completed. In the center of the report, we also provide the ideal targets and the plus and minus tolerance that would be applied to that data. In our next circumstance, the customer is actually being shipped material from two lots. We have selected both the DD885 and the MM703 lots, and again searched our database using Recreate COA data to find all of the results that are related to these two lots. In the header information form, we have selected the report format that's based on individual lots. Our preview will show that what we're actually being is being displayed on the report is the detailed information for each lot. We see the melt for lot one, the melt for lot two, the moisture for lot one, the moisture for lot two, and so on. Again, this is a generic report and the end user can modify it, add boilerplate and graphics. But perhaps they don't want to see the individual lot information. Perhaps what the customer wants to see is the combined information. So we'll use the average report. When we select Preview and save it, we're going to have the opportunity to see another version of the report where the results across all of the color, IV, melt, or moisture have been averaged. Again, this is just another generic report that the customer can add their own graphics to and their own boilerplate Another default report layout that is very useful is one that shows the average values, the mins and the max that were collected during the production run. We'll start again with our AB plastic flake. This time we'll go ahead and we'll select customer A as our customer and we'll look for the template that matches customer A. You can see that it's marked in the drop down list. It isn't necessary to always have a customer. If we're going to be sending the same C of A to multiple customers, we might choose to leave that information off the header. We're going to select two lots of material that are going to be shipped to customer A, and then we're going to go look through our database for the relevant data that represents the performance of these lots. There's quite a bit of data in the grid. If we come over to the serial lot level line, we can see that there are data related to lot ones and lot two. And let's look at the first set of values which are related to melt. In the value field, we have a range of values that were recorded during production. One of the things our customer is concerned about is what was the lowest melt level and what was the highest melt level. So 248 is our lowest melt level and 372 is our highest melt level. They would like to see that reported on the C of A as well. So let's go to the header information. Let's select our base min max layout and let's take a preview of that. What you'll see in this report 
is that the process is automatically summed and averaged all of the results for the multiple lots, and it's located the min and max values for all of the data that was recorded. Here we can see the 248 degrees that represented the melt point at the lowest point and the 372 that represents the highest melt point during our production run. As the last step in our CFA process, we can go ahead and select the finalize COA button. When we click on that button, a certificate number is automatically assigned to this certificate of analysis and a PDF version of the report is saved and placed in the database. There's lots of other functionality related to the C of A that we could go through, including things like user-defined fields. Here we have a trailer ID. There are up to six of these fields that can be added to the header of any of the reports. We hope that you found this information interesting, and we look forward to an opportunity to discuss the details with you in person. Please don't hesitate to call us or send us email if you'd like some additional details.